when you look at something like what you've done with with Breaking Bad, but then the movie the movie comes out with El Camino, um, and do you? So how how are you approach about that about the film in general? When do you get the when do you get the call about that they're going to do the Netflix movie? Well, it was a, a very uh, first of all, it was weird from from the start. I've never had a, a way of getting onto a show and being a fan of the show. Um, I got a call. At my home, um, I, I didn't at the time. Well, I, I don't have any kind of representation. I kind of you do it yourself. Eschewed that. Really? Um, yeah, but uh, you there's did certain for a things. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And, then, and then it just got tiresome, and then I didn't want to work anymore because I wanted to make my own film. So mm -hmm. I was in this. Uh, uh, what would um, I was on a sabbatical for for a couple of years, just making my own film. Mm -hmm. So I had no uh, touch with. Um, uh, uh, with with Hollywood yeah. actually, now sitting at home and I get this phone call. You know, Larry and this, uh, and it was a big agency, a uh, casting agency. Oh yeah, well, how'd you get my number? Well, we we looked around because it's not listed anywhere. <laughs> we looked around and we finally found you. Uh, yeah, listen, are you uh, available in the month of December? Yeah, why? Uh, oh, no, I didn't say yeah. I said why. <laughs> yeah, you don't say yeah or no uh, right away. It's uh, well, we can't tell you. I go, oh, and I thought, nah, this is like a really cheapo, dumb thing yeah. that they can't tell you. And I said, uh, can you tell me anything about it? And, no. Just, are you available in the month of December? And I go, well, yeah. And she said, thank you. Hang up. Yeah. I go, wow, that's really that was weird. Yeah, and then I, I waited for a day or two to see nothing. And yeah. then about three weeks later, uh, I got another call from the same person, and they said, okay, um, there's a film that uh, somebody wants to write you a part for. Uh, I go, well, okay, you can't, I don't, you know, what's this, why is it so secret? Well, Vince Gilligan is doing, I'll do it, I'll do it, yeah, <laughs> right, right, I'm there, yeah. And then they said, but that's all we can tell you, and if you're not available, you have to tell us that too, because then he won't even write the part. So that was a shock because it sounded like he was writing the part for, for you, me. Yeah. And so I said, yeah, but can you tell me anything more? He said, no, that, that's it. And I didn't know, you know, well, maybe Vince is going to do uh, a, a movie. He's breaking out, you know, all, all of, everybody wants to direct a movie, a feature. Right. So I said, yeah. And then they said, okay, just, you know. Hang in there. We'll we'll contact you. I said, well, you know, what's the dates? What uh, will I get a script? When we can't tell you anything. <laughs> and she hung up again. And then, uh, uh, well, I've had a lot of people hang up on me, but not for the great reason. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so, um, and then one day uh, they said, uh, you have to. We're going to send you a contract. I said, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know the name of the part. I don't know anything. And they said, you have to sign this contract. Before we tell you anything. Before we tell you anything, before we send you a script. What kind of contract? It's an NDA, non-disclosure right. agreement. That's like really weird. Yeah. But at this point, do you think because it's Vince, do you think that maybe it's a Breaking Bad thing? Do you, does it ever cross your mind? Yeah, yeah but, uh, but when directors who direct TV go up, as they say, yeah. you, you know, into movies, it's generally a different project. They want to like bust out right. of what they're known for. So, uh, uh, through experience, I didn't go that far. But it, it really, I mean, NDA. What that? Well, it was a Breaking Bad movie. It, they would tell me because it's Breaking Bad. Right. I mean, so, and then uh, so I, I signed this NDA. And it says you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't. You know, and, and it's really weird, but I signed it. And I, did, I I hesitated in signing it. It was so you can't do anything. Right. You can't leave your house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was that. Yeah. And so I signed it, and I sent it in, and then a couple of, about another week or two later, I got this part, and I just got my part. I didn't get a screenplay. I just got my part, and if a, a scene ended on the top of my page, and then my part started, that was redacted. Really? And then if my scene ended at the, at the bottom of the page, but there was another scene, that was redacted. Wow. So I only knew what I had to say and who I was talking to. But I didn't know why I was saying it, and I didn't know what happened after I said it. Yeah. You know, it was kind of... So that was really strange, and I got a call to, you know, okay, it's... Oh, I knew it was Joe, you know, so... 
I read the thing, and then I got the costume call, and that was a bizarre episode because I went to, to get the costume, and I knew I was Joe. Yeah. It was the costume of Joe, and I knew it was uh, something, obviously, to do with Breaking Bad, but I didn't know if it w- what the feature was about. I knew Brian was, was dead. His character was dead. And so I asked the costume people because they had to have the whole script because they were costuming everybody. Yeah. They wouldn't talk. Wow. They were, you know, they would talk about, like, costumes. They wouldn't tell me who was in it, who the star was, or um, what the narrative was. That was the no-no, the narrative. Uh, it later filtered to me that uh, the producers didn't want anybody to know. They were afraid of the fans overtaking wherever we were shooting. That, that was a big fear. I heard the yeah. story of Brian Cranston flying him in and out for the movie, which right, is crazy. Right, secretly and cloaking him yeah. in, uh, you, know, you know, totally hooded and everything. Yeah. It's so w- weird. I mean, it was just b- bizarre. So I, it was, it was a mystery. And then when I started to joke about it, like, I'm going to tell her, you know, no, no they, they got real serious. And it's then, like joking with TSA. You can't do it. <laughs> right? I mean... But I didn't know that they were watching, and I had mentioned, because the fans found out. Uh, again, how did the fans find out, and I can't know? Right. <laughs> that was, like, insulting. Yeah. It was really, because they would either do it through Facebook, mainly through Facebook, and they say, hey, Larry, I hear you're in the new Breaking Bad movie. Am I? Is right. that really? <laughs> what? Right. You uh, found out through uh, the fans, yeah. Uh, yeah, I... No, I kind of suspected, yeah. but, but I didn't know. And then they said, is that true? That was how they, hey, I hear you're in the new break. And I said, I can't tell you. And they would get really, what do you mean you can't tell me? I know that they know. Right, right, right. And then they started hyp- uh, uh, what, uh, hypothetical stuff like hey man if it is the breaking bad movie then because Brian was killed it's got to be about this person and then it has to and they started to fill in what the movie was about and I still didn't know uh-huh. so I said on my Facebook page well probably I don't know I don't know where you guys are finding this out I get a call from the producer Uh-oh. hey take that down <laughs> take what down the thing you put you put on Facebook on your Facebook page. They're watching. They're actually damn. W- yeah. They're scrubbing CIA stuff. They're scrubbing. Yeah. 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 So I did it one. I said okay, fine, you know. And then I mistakenly suggested something on my Facebook again, trying to be careful. Got a call, and they, this time they said, "Hey, look, you know, this is legal. Yeah. You you be- better stop that." And so it was kind of a, 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 an unveiled threat. Kind yeah, of. yeah. Yeah, and I thought, wow, this is really serious. Well, a show that's about criminals making meth. They can make threats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, but I've never been in that kind of situation right. at, with acting and stuff. So, you know, I, I went and I did it. Uh, and that was great because on, on the set, every you know, there was, uh, you know, Aaron and uh, Vince and... Yeah. Do you get to find out from Vince though why he uh, what what like what, so you've done so many great roles in your past? Was there something in particular that he had watched that made him think of you to write that part of Joe? Um, it's the only thing I can come up with because again I I don't know how Vince casts or thinks, but one one of the reasons is he wanted as many people in the Breaking Bad show. This is an assumption of mine, mm-hmm. but just from what I picked <clears> up. <throat> this, uh, Many people in, to, to be in there just for an attraction for yeah. the fans. Mm-hmm. The, the second thing uh, was that he liked my character and the fans liked my yeah. character. I remember going to the uh, premiere uh, last week. And uh, when I got out of the limo, they had stands in Westwoods. They had, it was the biggest, by the way, it was the biggest premiere I've ever been to in my life. Really? And wow. I've been to a lot of yeah. premieres, even movies that I wasn't in, uh, yeah. you know. The biggest. They had, first of all, they had three sets of grandstands. You know, those fold-up things they put in, you know, mm-hmm. colleges, mm-hmm. gymnasiums. They had three of those packed with fans, and they had the fans with the s- signing autographs over here. That was a whole section of fans with, you know, everything to sign, you know. Sign my grandmother, please, please. <laughs> and, and they were just throwing everything yeah. out at me. And they had, not only was it a red carpet, 
that you walked on. But they had carpeted half of Westwood. When the cars drove down the street to the theater, it was on carpets. They had carpeted from one side of, from the storefront across the street to the other storefront. Holy it was just carpeted. And it wasn't red. It was like a nice pile can. It was very, very cool. Like the desert. Yeah, like the desert. It was uh, very plush, you know, and then <laughs> car riding on a rug. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> but okay. And then you get out of the car and the fan, hey, it's Joe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, uh, I was like a kid. Yeah. It's awesome. You know, it's awesome. just uh, bizarre. Yeah. So it was great. Yeah, it was just sounds like it was a lot of fun. But you also the movie is awful, by the way. It's terrible. (laughs) Yeah, just uh, it wasn't worth it. it, No, it wasn't. uh, He's kidding. Don't call me. I'm kidding. It's not on my Uh, Facebook. He's kidding.